All right, guys, welcome back to Rod Talk. This is Rod Talk with Q. This is episode number four. And today we have some interesting news to tell you guys. First off, you guys can see we got goodies, lots of goodies, and we got cups to drink, all right? <laughs> Trying to spice up the Rod Talk from here on, so it's gonna be really good content going forward, all right? Um, first things first though, Cinco is now a part of Rod Talk. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you have to say for yourself, yo? He's too cool. He's too cool. He's too cool. He's too cool. Watch out. So we're just gonna jump right into the video, and we're gonna start popping up topics. We're doing it a little bit differently this time. We're only be doing like two questions, sometimes maybe one, and we're shortening up the videos, and it's just gonna be better overall, right? So without no further ado, first question we got going on. You didn't introduce us. Like, are you serious? Like, like the originals? <laughs> all right, all right. Serious? Please don't give me slack. This is. Taisha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ever put yourself on here because you don't split from here and then he goes there. <laughs> it goes here, then it goes there. Yeah, always. So All why right? would it go here and then go back there, there? It never went there because we started here. So why wouldn't you? What? You started here. So why you started with her? Because it's going this way, babes. Yeah, babes. <laughs> Come on, Mia, get, get the program. Sorry. Are you ready for your video life? Put this in so they can see the real camera. Of course, of course, it's gonna happen. Like, this is not even the video. Unknown. Unknown. <clears throat> this is unknown. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Anyways, we're about to get into this video and we're gonna talk about things that we did back in the day that kids are now doing, which is completely crazy. And from our opinions, this is solely our opinions of why we think that kids are just doing the crazy stuff they're doing today because. I know you guys see what these kids are doing today, and it's not what we be doing. Because back in the day, I leave class, let's just say grade eight, whatever. I jump in my home, jump in my home. <laughs> I jump home, and I jump on MSN, and I link up the man up and say, "Yo, you guys trying to play games?" Like that's what I do. But now it's like, but what these guys are telling me, they're talking about spitting mud and bullshit. No, 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 no. You don't no, have to say that. Oh, 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 that's a different time. My my main thing about the difference between kids now and the way they were before or the way we were before, is that it's just social media. You know, when we were younger, we would run home, go on MSN, like you said, I'd go on like mini clip or some, you know, Sims. play video games. <laughs> <Sims>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or simply ignore all that and just go outside. Yeah. You know, and link up with all my dogs and just do whatever, ride bikes, steal bikes. Go to different neighborhoods, just do different stuff. You know, like, we just weren't home like the way these yeah. kids are now. But like today, like it's crazy. Kids just have an iPad when they're four or five years old. They From know one, how, huh? like, they know how to use it. Like me, by the time they're four, probably even better than us. By the time they're like four or five years old, then they're just connected to the internet. And once you connect to the internet, like there's no limit as to what you can see on there. And I feel like that's just influencing all these kids now. And that's why they're so much more different than the way we were when we were younger. TikTok, TikTok. everything, YouTube, yeah. all that stuff. My niece, I swear to God, when she was like five years old, she could open the tablet, go on YouTube, search whatever she wants. Before I, like, even three years old when they're doing that, like, they know how to work these things better than I could, which is pretty crazy. And like you guys know, the internet is, is endless. Like the stuff that they can find on the internet without us even knowing. Because half of the time we're giving them the iPad so they can leave us alone, right? So they're there Googling, searching, whatever they want on their own, right? So. But at the same time, like, for example, my niece, my niece knows her dad's password. Like she literally goes and says, zero, two, five, and then That's she'll go into what she wants. But um, she knows to go to kids too. Like they train her to go to kids too, not YouTube. So you kind of have to, you know, guide your kid at the end of the day. Even yeah. TikTok, they have, I think, a kids, only kids segment, I think, I don't know. Mm. But just like kids too, they know it's only gonna be kids it's stuff. Right? A lot of these kids are not like scared of their parents anymore. Right. Like, that's the problem. But their parents just don't care. They want a friendship <laughs> instead of being like parents. Right. Honestly, you even gotta give credit to parents now because those are things that they had to like premeditate before they even decided, yo, I'm gonna give my kid an iPad and let him go on, him or her go on YouTube or whatnot. Cause 
back then, if I'm going on YouTube, I'm going on YouTube, you know? <laughs> hey, but being a parent now, you see how the world is, you see what you can find online. So it's like, now you gotta make sure your kid goes on kids YouTube, your kid goes to play this game because hell, I know for a fact, I could be playing racing games and on the side, it's just a dumb porn on the side. <laughs> a thousand pop-ups, you know? Like, as a kid, you're going to want to go press it. And I pressed it as a kid. You know, I pressed it. Right. We all pressed it. I got no, we did. We all pressed it. Well, I pressed it. It didn't affect me. It just made me a better man, you know? It made you a better man? Made me a better man, still. But back then, there was no such thing as ad blocker, you know? So yeah. you click on it. Ooh, my mom's at home. I was on the phone call. I'm going to click it. Yeah, you're click watching it. blues. And then by the time your mom comes over, you hear the key in the door. First of all, first of all. Blues? <laughs> <first of all, laughs> <first of all, laughs> you know what blues is? Blues. Blues is the nasty blues, yo. <laughs> it's the nasty blues. You know I do, but it's just like blues. Like what do you call know it? That was. I found PH at a young age, you know? I found them <laughs> Razzers, Reality Kings. I see those are all the pop ups that give her computer viruses. My real dogs know, oh, you know? God. Like. I never watched porn when I was younger. Well, it's different for your girl, you know? <laughs> Guys, it is intriguing because, you know, we're, we, we want to see that, you know? Wanna you want to see that. Yes, that's sick. Like, woo. Can't wait to get my turn, nigga. That's what we're doing. But even now, like the kids, like 14, 15, they're like holding guns. Yeah. And they're so no, yeah, because they're prime. It's all over. And it's just like it's when I was 14, 15, like I was happy to go walk around the mall just to go to the mall and sit yeah. in the food court in Yorkdale and yeah. eat. And you, know, was, you know what's messed up? But I know this is just me, but yeah. back when I was younger, you, you get a hug from a girl and go feed up here and there, like you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're okay, like yo. Latin, yeah, yeah, I, I got like, some feel up. I got the body. Feel ups are real thing. You over there? Oh, I got like some feel ups. You know, like the, 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 the I can't even say it. But I mean, like, if a girl sit on your lap, you're yeah, you're like, yeah. Like, yeah. You, know? you, you didn't see so and so sit on my lap today in the gym, the cafeteria. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're so am. Nowadays, like kids is not enough. It's they're, not like enough. they're trying to link up after school and get it, like. After school, during school. school, yeah, yeah. back to school. I don't know the spots, man. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you, what do you guys think is the main cause of all of this? The like, internet, social yeah, media, social media. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and the music, as Simple said, like the music yeah. is so influential. Influential. <laughs> 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 That's the big word. <laughs> That's the tongue ring I'm telling you. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I, I think the main reason for that is internet. If you guys think otherwise, let us know in the comments below and don't be afraid to comment. Log in, sign in, subscribe, comment. Second topic we're going to talk about before we wrap this episode up is going to be how do the bells get split in the household? So you're living in the household with you and your significant other and you want to know how the bills get split, whether it's this person makes more, that person makes less, or you, just should, you think it should be equal, or this person should cover this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Right, I'll start with my opinion. We're splitting that shit. 50-50. 50-50. I might as well live with my sister. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Crazy. Yeah. Seven, 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 seven. Dang. You crazy. That's why you're a roommate, bro. Okay, so let me, let me, let me understand something. So should she still cook and clean and do all that stuff? Oh, right. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, are you cooking? Without, without getting Are off, you cooking? Without getting, you without getting off topic. <laughs> it's not off topic. I can cook for myself. Thank you very much. I can much. cook for the household, though. I, I can cook for whoever's there. It's just not a problem. But if it's just us two in the house, say we have a kid, I can cook for the kid. That's fine. That's whatever. I don't believe in the traditional wife should cook, clean, wash dishes, do laundry. I don't believe in that. But you believe in 50 50. But I definitely believe in 50 50. Right. I feel like if we're making an investment in somewhere, that it should be the best that we both made. 50 50. No matter the income. Yeah, like what if you make way more than she does? Not way more, it, but still more. It doesn't have to be substantial, but before we go into this agreement, we're going to sit down and look at our finances obviously and be like, you know what? Can we afford to do something like this? And if you can, then great. If not, then no. But you're also going to want to find somebody that's going to be at your level. But what what you if you make more than she does? If I make more than she does, 50 50. I understand. You ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you tell you something. When you say 50-50, you mean you gotta just 
splitting Everything. the mortgage. We'll okay. So you're gonna be I'll be paying for the water, you'll pay for hydro, you know, everything. Like your whole thing is three thousand dollars, it's fifteen hundred each. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm for the month. See me? <laughs> I mean <laughs> mm mm. I disagree still. Yeah, not sure. that I say he's wrong. Yeah, you know? you're not wrong. That's but his I mean, opinion. And if she understands, I, and that's the girl for you. If she's working minimum wage, then like, mm-hmm. I, like but it, it, all, it all depends on the situation. But like, you're gonna want someone that's on the same level because I can afford to be fifty fifty. Because mm-hmm. you know, marriages they never go as planned. So when the divorce comes, you guys can't say. You guys well, not that's not even say marriage. Let's just say, you know. This is 50 50. You're married? <laughs> it's, it's, right, a, it's a fun idea. Marriage, like, yeah. marriage, marriage, marriage common law, all of it's the same thing. Like, so like, when you guys go to like the grocery store, like 50 50 on everything, basically. No, no. Okay, Think about you, you buy groceries this time, I buy groceries next week. You lost me. How's that? What if the grocery bill is more than <laughs> 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 But if you're going you to grocery me. once a month, the bill should be the same. Honestly. How I would do it? Because of how I was raised. The African side, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The- <laughs> go ahead, go Bro, ahead, go ahead. <laughs> whatever the rent is, say it's the mortgage, the hydro thing, I'm paying for everything. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. You know? And then, like, sure. if she's going to go do grocery, she can call me and ask me, oh, what do you want from me? Like, get this, get that, get this, get that. But if I have it like that, I'm still going to give money, you know, for the grocery. The thing is, like, I can't. It's just weird for me to yeah, let. That's how you. That's how most Africans are. Yeah, like, it's just weird yeah. for me to let, like, go fifty fifty on, on everything. Jamaica, then my mom's gonna look at me. Like that too. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's not even doesn't even matter. There is some people. It's just like it, they don't look at it as how they're raised. They look at it as what they think is right, right? right? And they feel like fifty fifty is the right thing. You me? know, Danny. <laughs> I feel what? like what? <laughs> you know, Danny. What? No, but like. I feel like I kind of know you, and I feel like you wouldn't do that. I definitely would. <laughs> I, I don't know him money wise, clearly. But <laughs> so would. when you're in a relationship, that's yeah. really how you 50 50? Oh. If we're go, you said in a household. No, I'm really talking about relationship. <laughs> But you guys still okay. You guys still are, a relationship. You you're in a relationship, but well, you have your career. She has her career. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know that you don't have a family or nothing. You guys live together. So we're know? we're splitting the mortgage. So let's say it's not mortgage yet, because you know usually you have mortgage and you have kids and you have a family. You want a house. house right? you know? yeah, so renting. let's just say like it's you're just your renting bills something, general, okay? renting bills, just okay. everything, bills, grocery. You know, like if you pay hydro, or whatever, yeah. like whatever it is. You know, how would you split that? You guys both have your careers. Okay. So say I finish school and I'm I'm a, I'm a plumber now. I'm making like eighty k a year. Okay. You know, and she finished. She does let's say what? Nursing. What is it? Nursing. Okay. I don't know how much do they make. I don't know. Eighty k a year. Okay. <laughs> you see, if she if we both make the same thing, I'm still taking the biggest bills. As the man. Yeah. Okay. And if That's she wants to brother. take like groceries and like. Not necessarily like little take water the most, bill, little like, water bill. Yeah. Like if she wants to chip and just, the, like you know, give me yeah. a one to one. Okay, fine, you know. But I'm still doing <laughs> it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that's I not right. couldn't even go back. I couldn't even take it to my mom's crib and tell her that we're splitting the bills 50 50. My mom will say I picked the girl picked the wrong man. Hey, that's crazy. You know? How do you feel like you're bad? Huh? What? How should you? You know, at the end of the day, um, I feel like. Hmm. I feel like I should take care of, like the groceries, the bills. I mean, you take care of the the rent, mortgage, whatever. The big you know? stuff. Yeah, yeah. like. You know? Like I know man that like they live with their girl, and they they basically like get a car for their girl. They put the car in their name. Like that's a big bill. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's a bill that's gonna come what every month when you have to pay like insurance or whatnot. And like she's gonna pay for her own gas and stuff like that. You know, but you pay for the car. You know what I mean? You just have to have a shorty that knows that if you're taking care of like the mortgage or the rent, she knows that she's sure. saving though yeah. that money. So right. just in yeah. case you fall off one day, right. she could have it. Yeah. Like, that's why it's like, like no, yeah. 50, 50. She's not gonna have money to freaking <laughs> save. <laughs> <laughs> What's she gonna be saving? You guys are both gonna be raining. Going I'm on. just saying, if it was the other way around, <laughs> you guys wouldn't do that. If I had more than, you're right. Definitely <laughs> not. But you see, that's what sucks for us. It, 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 <laughs> so the thing is, this world is life is not fair. Though. Though. Life is not fair. Not it's not about it's it goes both ways, though. You know, like there's double standards that benefit us, and there's ones exactly. that benefit yeah. you. Exactly. Oh, Mr. Fifty Fifty. Yeah. A lot of guys will say fifty fifty, though. 
A lot of guys that's okay. Because in today's Wait, world right now, you know what? There's a, yeah, a lot of it's true. There's a too lot much like. And we make the same like I like we actually make the same. I don't have a problem, but listen, if you make more than me, nah. it's substantial. But the thing is, I'm not gonna find a girl that the wage gap is significantly lower than me. Like I'm not gonna say. Go so you're, but what if you fall in love with that? Like you can, can you stop yourself? <laughs> No, but obviously, if I'm with that person, I'm gonna push her to do better in life. Right. I'm not, okay. Gonna, okay. I'm not gonna tell her you work at McDonald's, just go to work every day, and make sure you come home and. I feel like at the end of the day, you guys have to have a conversation, and you guys just split it in mm. terms of the income and what you're comfortable with, and you know, you guys what have a plan sense. at the end of the day. But then yeah. Think, think about it. A lot of a lot of people, like nowadays, have joint bank accounts. Mm, for sure. Yeah. Couples have joint bank accounts, so their paychecks are both going to the same bank. I would never. Do but that. that's because of that's basically because of whatever situation they're in you know that's why they're like oh we're, we need to have a joint bank account but it's like if you guys both make good money let's say you know and yeah you know you want to split things however you want to split them then that's up to you you know but somebody, i feel like it's okay uh, well, it's like i don't know like it's okay because you guys if you guys are making somewhere in general size and if the girl's making less fine not saying like, that you're still paying 50 50 but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you're not gonna be with that person, like, regardless of love or not, like, mm -hmm. that person you're gonna want the person to be on your level, right. you're gonna want that person right. to be with you. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are both making 80k and you're both putting, let's say, 40k a year, you guys should have the same money at the end of the day. Correct. So, if you guys need to make an investment, but, you guys are both more expensive. but then you have the money to spend on your lifestyle. Oh. Then I, listen, if I want to go, so it'll be best, That's right? Okay. So, <laughs> if 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 I want to go buy a, a five six thousand dollar motorcycle, you're gonna look at me and say, "What the fuck?" You're not buying a motorcycle motorcycle with me, sir. Okay. Okay, but That's fine. Pay, what? You see, you have bills to pay. I can cover my bills. But if you get old, but, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> if you want to go buy that six thousand dollar Morphe kit to make up your face, <laughs> I don't know what Okay. But if that was the case, like you guys are like, I'm gonna buy this for what I want, right? But you guys would save your money to do the same thing. So because we're paying for the bills, right? The majority, the major bills, and you're only paying two, three hundred dollars, and we're paying fifteen, two thousand dollars a month for these bills. You're gonna have that money sitting there, and you just don't want to spend for it. For rainy right days, in case one Some day. Some people don't think about the rainy well, days. Well, you had the wrong girl in your life. That's what I'm trying to say that girl needs to be on your level, so you guys can spend money together. Well, honestly, man, they're looking at it like after you pay your bills and stuff, you don't have money left. More times, you can have money left and buy whatever you want for yourself. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean, like, you pay the bills. Honestly, the way the generation or the way it is now, guys are expecting the girl to have their own bag. Yeah. Period. Because you girls are looking at like bag chasers. But okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> back then, like, it was more the guy takes care of this and the girl Stay takes so, care of the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, it's... Yeah, you go to work, I'm gonna go to work, and we're both gonna make this make some money. No, it's not. Oh, excuse yes, me? It is. That's how no, it's it is. Not. That's how it is. No, it's not. It is right now. But there's That's girls insane. out here mm -hmm. who can go to work, make their money, and still chase a nigga that has money. Which is true. I know that. that which is true. And that's what most girls are doing, which is why guys are saying that they want all them everything to be 50-50. They don't want to look like a simp. They don't want to look like they're just paying for everything and the girl's just chilling. Because more times, girls are always looking for the guy that has money. They're looking for the... And today, right now, what's today's date? <laughs> it's like the today's day. Thursday, November 5th. <laughs> there's girls chasing scammers. There's girls chasing drug dealers. And there's one reason why. It's the money. It's the extra money they make. It's not... They, there's drug dealers. That, I know drug dealers are working 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. You know? They have 9 to 5 money, but their drug dealer money makes them more appealing to these girls. Mm -hmm. You know? And these girls want that. They know they have... This income and that income, they can switch it up. They can this, they can that. They want a Romeo and a gangster, you know? So, <laughs> a Romeo and a gangster, <laughs> I'm telling you. So it's like, this is what we're living in right now, and <laughs> girls, this is what girls want. So guys are looking at it like, bro, I'm not letting this girl come here and like trick me. Like, you know, like, we're going 50 50 no matter what. So it's, it's, it's even deeper than just like splitting the bills and just saying, oh, we're going 50 50 because like, it needs to be fair. It's, it's way whatever you're comfortable that. with at the, at, like, in the moment. As long as you're in a yeah. relationship, it's whatever you guys are comfortable with and whatever you guys feel like you guys can cover. I feel like at the end of the day, as a man, 
You know, you expect the female to do this in the house, take care of the home. You come home to food. You come home to a clean house. He said he's laundry. Really Daddy is day. not. He might be, though. I'm 50 50. Daddy. There's some guys that actually cook. I, my can you imagine you come home from yeah. a long day of work and it's your day to cook? <laughs> and you can't be a woman sit down and be like, you get me. No, but like think about it. I, the way the way I was raised, everybody was raised differently. Yeah. My mom said, "Don't depend on nobody mm -hmm. to like to defend for yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Know how to know how to clean, know, do your laundry, yeah. know how yeah. to. That way, this girl can't say I do your laundry, do that, cook for you, I this for you. You know what I'm saying? She, we can cook for each other. I know, you know that. I know a lot of guys that can cook, clean, and yeah. do their laundry, but they don't because they have the idea of, oh, I have a woman, a woman's gonna do it. Not but there's also a lot of guys that cook and the girl doesn't cook. A lot of guys out there. Man, I'm ordering out tonight. What do you want? No, nah, I don't feel like cooking tonight. No, dodge it for the rest of the year. <laughs> I, like, I like it when you cook this chicken better, though. See, that's the thing. The times we're in now, this it's is so scary. scary. If it's 50 50, it has to be 50 50 on every You really gotta find someone that was raised at kind of the same way as you or has the same, same mentality as yeah, you, you know, fine. and you go from there because. Yeah. You can, I mean, one day you can wake up feeling I want it to be 50 50, and one day you'll be like, yo, for this year, I'm gonna pay everything. You know, like. Yeah. It's just, the times we're living in is, is different, bro. People just find the right person. <laughs> but, I say, with that being said, this is our, this, this is our opinion. So if you guys feel like it shouldn't be 50-50, and you guys want to change my mind, go ahead and do it. If you guys agree with Cinco, let us know. If you guys agree with Ty and Candy, let us know. But this is going to be episode number four of Rod Talk. You know, it's your boy Q. This is Taisha. This is unknown. unknown for now. <laughs> and this is Cinco, a new addition to Rod Talk. And this is episode four, man. And we out, man. Peace.